Hi everyone, Sea Chronicles is my name. Thank you very much for joining me today. My content is mostly fragrances, um, fashion videos, lifestyle videos, and much, much more. So if you're always coming to this channel, it's your first time here, uh, and what I've said sounds like something that you've been interested in, please do consider subscribing. If you're always coming as a visitor, please do click that red subscribe button and help that number go up i'd appreciate that and to my returning subscribers i appreciate you guys as always thank you very much for coming to my channel today i have for you a fragrance review video i'm going to be doing a review for najia by latafa however before we get into that i'm going to show you my fragrance of the day as i said um because October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I have intentionally picked out my pink bottles, which I intend wearing as fragrances of the day in, you know, because October is Breast Cancer Awareness you know, Month. I'm giving support to my pink bottles and the fragrance of the day today is Nina Richie's Rose Stas, okay? This is what I am wearing. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's go uh, get checked for breast cancer. It's always important to get screened for breast cancer because breast cancer happens to be one of the top five killers in the world. And if nipped in the bud, the chances of survival are high. So let us get that one out of the way um, this month. And any other time, really, it's just that it's more important this month. So, yes, this is my pink pot bottle for today. And I had a friend uh, reach out to me on uh, um, YouTube in my comment section in my last video and she said you know in, in, in Australia it's actually um, ovarian cancer awareness month so yeah when she said it's ovarian cancer awareness month she said the color they uh, the color they use is teal so i feel it's also important to emphasize that because i do have australian audience and the world audience worldwide let's also get checked and uh, screened for ovarian cancer because that also happens to be one of the leading killing cancers in the world now that that's out of the way let's talk about what i have today nagia by latafa this is the presentation guys it's a it's got like a leathery top here okay i actually forgot to bring the box out have shown you the box but the box actually looks like this as well okay so it's got like a a print of a uh, what you call this of a leaf right so that would to me off the cuff suggest that this is a green fragrance however we're not going to work with you know what i think let us spray it on this piece of paper and then i'll get straight into uh what this fragrance is about i'm going to spray it here okay that is the atomizer i think you can see it gives out a mist okay this is marketed as unisex right um but i personally you know uh I'm not drawn to this one. I feel it's masculine, but, that, that, but that's just me. So it is marketed as unisex. So the ladies, you can go after this if you want it. Now, the top knots here is uh, lemon and apple, and it's got some lemongrass, some cinnamon, and some bergamot. And then in the mid, it's got the watery notes. It's got some cardamom, some lavender, and some rosemary. And in the base, it's got some ember musk, tobacco, uh, sandalwood, and some cedar, right? So this, to me, just from those notes, is going to be like a spicy, citrusy, aquatic, fresh, powdery, musky scent. Okay, don't... <laughs> If I'm going too fast, my apologies. I'm just so much into fragrances that once I get the notes, I just can do a mental shortcut of what to expect. So as I said, this is definitely um, masculine, okay? But I'm going to break it down to you so that you know whether you need it or not. This is like a sporty kind of sweet lemony cinnamon combo, okay? I have to mention the cinnamon because... It's there, although it's one that you may have to be digging your nose, you know, to your skin, if you've worn it on your skin, to get the cinnamon. Whether or not you can get the cinnamon and the cloves, it didn't get that to, you know, I didn't get to that part because, like I said, to me, it's pretty masculine. So I didn't want it on my clothes. I just w wore it on my on my um, arm, okay? Uh, so it's a sporty, creamy fragrance, as I said. Um, clean as well, really. Not creamy, actually. Let me take that one out. I don't want to uh, mislead people. It's a clean uh, fragrance, okay? Uh, the citruses are really prominent, but I wouldn't attribute um, the strength of these citruses to just lemon and bergamot. I think what is giving it this... Uh, intense citrusy lemoniness is actually the lemongrass okay because um it's definitely the lemongrass i'll tell you why lemongrass has a very potent aroma okay which in most in most cases overshadows any other notes if you've tried uh, making a concoction of your own uh fragrance oil or something like that and you use lemongrass even if you use it in moderation, like in really small doses, it just tends to umbrella everything. So I think it's the lemongrass that is really taking over here in the forefront, especially in the in the first two hours, because it is lemon, lemony, lemony. Okay, that's what I get. But that is in the two, even three hour mark, because it will carry this th through to the end, you know, um, to a point that 
if you cannot distinguish or if you cannot sniff anything outside that you might get stuck on the fact that it is really like citrusy lemony okay okay and then of course like i said there is some cardamom in there okay so the cardamom will then join in and give it like um fresh spicy aromatic feel almost like a eucalyptus -y rosemary tone uh to it and this happens in the mid okay but this eucalyptus i know eucalyptus can also be aggressive it's not that aggressive but you do get like a spiciness that starts to happen there in the mid um uh kind of like uh uh maybe trying to neutralize this uh lemongrass okay but it doesn't turn over to being too spicy but i've got to mention that there is some spiciness that happens within this fragrance okay there is also in the base um tobacco listed as a note here and i i, I was trying to see if because the, if this fragrance does have some sweetness to it it is a sweet fragrance in as much as it's uh um uh, uh, uh you know masculine more masculine to me it does have some sweetness it doesn't however have the vanilla or uh you know what i would attribute to what's making it sweet so i thought I, i'm just thinking uh you know what's giving it this sweetness must be the tobacco because it has tobacco in the base okay it does have that tobacco in the base but um uh, remember with tobacco uh used in a fragrance does not exactly give a smoky vibe okay so this is why i'm mentioning it you know some of you might sigh out there what you mean tobacco and it's making it sweet no tobacco in its raw form minus it being smoke smoked okay to give it the smoky feel in fragrances um would actually in fact give a fragrance like a sweet aroma almost florally floral almost floral and spicy okay I was getting tongue tied there so yeah it gives it like a sweetness like a floral touch like a spicy touch so i get that that's uh maybe uh what i'd say is contributing to this sweetness within this fragrance because yes it is a sweet fragrance and then the cedar okay which is also in the base i guess helps with the woodiness because it does have sandalwood it's got the cedar so it does have like a touch of woods okay within it but it does not turn into a woodsy fragrance so don't worry about it turning woodsy woodsy this is more a bit aquatic more fresh you know uh more citrusy but towards this you know like uh, towards the stingy sweet citrusy sour like citrusy not like a pretty uh not not like uh uh how would i say not like an orangey sweetness or a tangerine sweetness no it's got like a bitter sweetness to it something that you would attribute to the sourness of the oranges of the of, of the lemon or lemongrass or the lemon zest or something along those lines so yeah definitely all uh, th that's what this uh fragrance is all about it is um a uh, a fragrance that then within like the five six hour mark okay gets to give you this it, it starts to tone down on the lemongrass and becomes more aquatic okay more airy more aquatic uh a, a bit sweet somewhere there about but you know making its presence known it's not a shy fragrance it's definitely a room filler this uh, in terms of performance is it's got monstrous performance it will definitely give you 10 hours plus it's a stubborn scent as far as i'm concerned one that will definitely not let you down i have noticed that this fragrance gets compared mostly to invictus aqua okay i haven't used invictus aqua but i'm gonna have to mention it here for the sake of my audience um i looked at you know the rating of the number of people that compare it to invictus aqua so i think it's um it's 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 um it's it's safe for me to say this if you like Invictus Aqua, it's going to be in that fragrance family, right? Um, I'm not going to say it's inspired by it because I haven't smelt it, but I'm just giving you that as a lead to say, in case you've used Invictus Aqua or in case you've sniffed, sniffed Invictus Aqua, this tends to be compared to Invictus Aqua a lot. Okay, so definitely room feeling, definitely monstrous, massive sillage. This is not like an arm's length kind of thing. This is like five meters plus. So that is what you'll be dealing with in terms of this fragrance. So yeah, that's what I had to say about Najia, Najia by Latafa. As I said, ladies, beware, you know, buy this if you like masculine fragrances. It is marketed for, uh, it, it is marketed unisex, but if you don't like masculine fragrances, this I do not think will tick your boxes because I personally am just giving it away after this uh, video because I don't think I'm going to use it. I think I'd love to smell 
you know, to smell it on somebody else, not on myself. So yeah, that's what I had to say, guys. Again, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Let us go and get screened for breast cancer. In Australia, it's also Ovarian Cancer Awareness Month. So yes, let us get screened for such cancers as they are number five killer cancers in the world. So it is important to get checked. My name is C Chronicles. I hope you have uh, subscribed, liked, commented, and share, share this video after watching this video. And remember to turn on post notifications so that you're notified anytime I upload a video. It's been your girl C Chronicles again. And remember, smelling good is a form of good manners. Cheers.